it's Sarah and I'm here with my March TBR. So I started making my list of things I want to read and I have a couple of books that I'm going to be doing for review for publishers. I have a book club pick. Uh, there's a readathon going on this month that I'm going to be participating in and then I have my new author pick and I kind of felt myself getting a little overwhelmed. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try to do as much as I can for sure but Come April, I might have to reevaluate what I'm doing because I'm starting to neglect my some of my big goals. And my big one is series, and I haven't really done that much as far as series goes. So um, I may, after this month, I'll have to see how this month goes, see what kind of progress I make, and then maybe have to kind of tweak what I'm doing every month because um, I don't want to be overwhelmed by my goals, you know, or by my reading because that's my leisurely enjoyment time. So... We're going to see how it goes. I do have books picked out that I need slash want to get to. So here we go. So the first one that I have is a book that I received for review. I got this book from a website called Blogging for Books. And it's a book that does send out review copies for bloggers or um, people who do review videos like I do, like BookTube and things like that. So um, I requested this and got a copy of it, and this is called Hope Unfolding. Um, this is by Becky Thompson. This is a faith-based book, so this is going to be my faith-based book for the first three months. So every three months I'm trying to read something that is nonfiction um, about faith and Christianity and stuff like that. So uh, I saw this one on their website, and I got really excited. This one comes out on March 15th, so I'm going to hopefully get this done in the first couple of days in March. It's pretty short, so I think I can get through it really quickly. Um, but this is, the subtitle here is Grace Filled Truth for the Mama's Heart. So I think it's going to be more about motherhood and parenting and things like that. So I'm really excited to read this. So that's going to be first up. Our book club pick for this month, um, our theme is magical realism, and then everyone put in a book, and then this one won by a landslide, so I'm going to be reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and I'm excited to read this one. I've had this one on my shelf for a little while, and I've heard really, really good things about it. I have recently heard of a couple people who didn't like this series, so I'm interested to see which side of the fence I fall on, um, so I'm hoping this is not another thing where as I'm reading Passenger right now I'm not enjoying it at all and I think all the hype got me excited to read it and now I'm reading it and I'm not liking it so I'm hoping this isn't the same thing because this one is pretty hyped up as well this whole series is so yep we're gonna read this one so hopefully it's good the read-along group that I'm a part of on Goodreads is called Reads with Friends and it's hosted by Shannon at Leaning Lights. And for one of the books for February is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh and I'm going to read along with them. I got this from the library and um, this has been on my TBR for a while now. So when I saw that it was going to be a Reads with Friends thing, I was like, yes, I'm going to grab it so I can read it. So I picked it up and um, I'm excited. This is a YA dystopian book, I believe, from what I'm hearing about it. I don't know a ton of details. People talk about it, but they don't talk really in depth about exactly what it's about. So I'm kind of like that because I'm going into it a little bit blind. I know it's a dystopian and there's something about the seasons or elements or something like that that is a big part of their world from what I am um, understanding. But yeah, so I'm excited for this one. For my new author read for this month, um, every month I'm trying to read a one book from an author that I have not read yet that I've been interested in checking out. So for this month, I'm going to be checking out Sarah Dessen, and I picked up The Truth About Forever. And I have a few Sarah Dessen books, and I haven't read any of them yet, but I wanted to do this one first because this one has been personally recommended to me by multiple people. Um, so a lot of her books get recommended, but this is one. This is the one that's probably the most recommended to me. So I was like, okay, I have it on my shelf. I'll go ahead and pick it up. So um, hopefully between the fantasies and all this stuff, I'll be ready for like a nice contemporary to kind of break that up a little bit. Another book that I do need to read, which is going to be another book for review, is called Jane Steele, and this is written by Lindsay Fay. Um, I do have a digital copy of this book on my Kindle already. However, the publisher had contacted me already, and they said that they would send me a finished copy of it before the release date, and they said early March. So I'm still waiting for it. I haven't gotten it in the mail yet, but when I'm ready to pick it up, I can just pick it up on my Kindle and then finish it off in hard copy if I need to. But I'm going to be reading that and doing a review video for it for you. I believe that this one is a historical fiction and it's kind of a spin on Jane Eyre 
from what I was getting from the synopsis that they sent me. So I'll be reading that one as well. There's also a readathon that I will be participating in in March, and it's the Slay Your Series or Slay That Series, Slay That Series readathon. And um, there is a Twitter page dedicated to this, so I'll leave a link down below to the Twitter page. And there's all sorts of links in there where you can see the two hosts and um, you can see their announcement videos and everything. But this starts on March 13th and goes through March 30th or 20th, sorry. So it's Sunday to Sunday. And the main focus is to work on series. So you can, you know, if there's a series that you need to finish the last one in the series to finish it up, do that. Um, if you want to catch up on a series, go ahead and do that. If you want to start a new series, do that. These are all things that are in my repertoire right now because <laughs> series are things that I want to focus on this year. And luckily I do have two series that I'm going to start this month. So that's good. But these are going to be outside the readathon. I'm not going to do these during the readathon. So um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to try to take that week and read four books. So I just need to figure out what I want to do. There's probably at least one or two that I could finish. I only have one book left. And then um, I might want to try to start two new series. So maybe finish two, start two. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. I just haven't made any final decisions on what I'm going to try to pick up yet. But I'm going to do a separate Slay That Series readathon TBR video um, closer to the date, so closer to the 13th. But um, yeah, so I need to kind of start thinking about that and think about what I want to read for that week. So that's it for me. Um, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five definites, and then possibly four for the readathon if I can get to four. If not, probably definitely three. I think I could definitely do three, but I'm going to try for four. So eight to nine books this month. I think I can hopefully do that. <laughs> and I am still reading Passenger. I still need to work my way through that, even if I do it slowly because it's not capturing me, even if I need to kind of work some of these in there. At the same time, I have no problem doing that. I am also currently listening to Outlander, not Outlander, um, Dragonfly and Amber, which is the second book in the Outlander series. I am actually currently listening to that on audiobook. I just started, I'm about 5% into it. So um, that one's going to take me a long time because it's a really long book. So um, I my goal is to finish it before season two of Outlander starts on April 9th. So that's kind of my goal. I'm giving myself, you know, what, five, six weeks to uh, to listen to that. So I need to make some good time to sit down and do that. But, so that's what I have going on. That's a lot. I feel like it's a lot. Is it a lot? I feel like it is. We'll see how I do. <laughs> I'm just going to, you know, I'm trying not to stress out about it too much because it's just, they're just books, you know, like no one's going to die if I don't read all these books in a month, seriously. But, um, yeah, so we're going to see how March goes and then move on from there into April and just see if I need to tweak anything. And if I do, that's fine. I need to be realistic about all this. Okay, so please leave me a comment. Let me know what you plan to read in the month of March. Let me know if you read any of these books without spoiling anything for me. And I will talk to you guys soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.